Well, good day, tubes. How's she going today? Uh, so, if some of you have checked out the Facebook pictures there last night, you might have noticed that I had a little bit of an issue. A little bit of an issue. Didn't film any of it. I didn't uh, have the uh, camera going there last night. I was actually out doing a bit of extra work getting ready for today. Um, but anyways, if you didn't check her out, uh, let's just have a quick look here. Come on, buddy. There you go. Well, I kind of thought last night that, uh, you know, I might try taking the big tractor over the, uh, the, uh, the bridge project here that we built a while back there, and um, we'll see the uh, tractor won and the bridge lost, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a little bit scary, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. It didn't drop down that far. I didn't do enough mush trying to get out that I got uh, mud on the, like you know all the steering thingies and a little bit on the snowblower attachment thingy which I probably should have taken off this spring but I didn't yet probably won't now but uh, yeah we had her into a little bit of mud and uh, well, let's go have a little look down here at the bridge oh I also put a little Dug a little bit of a bermy thingy here and put some dirt here just so in case Dylan come flying down here on his dirt bike that he wouldn't go over the bridge and uh, you'll see why in a second. Oh, trail of mud. Trail of mud. Trail of mud. Oh, oh, something's uprooted here, boys. Something's uprooted. <laughs> oh no. That's not too good. That is not too good. She's she's all falling apart. And uh, what happened here was uh, I thought, well, let's try the bridge out with the tractor. And uh, yeah, it didn't uh, kind of go the way it sort of was supposed to. You can still walk across it though if you're careful. <laughs> but anyways, I thought, well, let's try her and see what happens. So I drove, you know, over the over the thing here and it was sort of springy bouncy on the front mm -hmm. not too bad I guess so then I drove a bit more drove a bit more I'm sitting sort of back tire was probably about here by then and uh, so I'm like ah, maybe we're gonna be all right so I drove a bit more you know you gotta remember this thing was up this high so let me give you a profiling shot here so, we were about this high with the tire, and then boom, down she went. Just like that. Can't believe it actually busted through this log, but I guess it's getting thinner here, right? And thinner and thinner, losing strength. Or this side's still pretty good. And I uh, just should, should have had logs in there like this fella here, maybe. That would have held me up, probably. Yeah, she broke right there, boys, and I had both tires right over each log, so she just went kaboom! So, of course, I'm sitting on an angle like this with the tractor. Holy frig, I was freaking out. So, what I ended up doing was um, getting the backhoe over here, pushing her down, and the pictures you see on the Facebook there is where uh, I actually had her kind of sort of leveled up off the bridge a bit. And uh, basically I left the uh, loader bucket down there, sort of picked up the front of a little bit, just helped support that, and then slowly just slid myself kind of over to the river here, plunked it down, and then got her dragged down off. And now we're going frontwards up here, <laughs> trying to get up out of the river again. So yeah, it wasn't much uh, fun, but uh, you know what, I wasn't, really wanting to wreck my bridge but I really wasn't super too too happy with it anyhow so now I guess we got another big project <laughs> of some sorts I'm gonna have to find some uh, better trees or something that's a little beefier even oh hello little fella hmm. little 
ferret or muskrat or something. Hello, little fella. Hmm, I don't know if you guys caught that or not. Oh, there he is. Just came up over. Can't quite see him. Like a little ferret or muskrat or... Where is he going? Over there somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, he's camera shy. So, yeah, I kind of used cedars before because of... Um, there's sort of longevity to rot and decay, right? So, but I uh, don't really have any super, super huge ones here. That one's pretty big and it's sort of kind of leaning into the river anyways. Go away, bugs. So, I don't know, we might uh, might use him again for, uh, I could actually just drop him right there, realign him for this side. That'd be perfect, actually. Yeah, because he's kind of pulling into the river anyways and I don't know, he's just kind of, it's getting actually more and more and more that way every time I look at it, so. But, um, we got to get this thing tore out of here first, but I do have a burial today, so. I don't know whether I'll get into this today or not, but. We'll have to, uh, switch buckets too, because I don't want to use my, uh, my big, uh, 36 for that. I want to probably put something on with a bit of teeth. Probably the 24 I'll put back in. Use haven't used him for a while, so. Oh, man, what a mess, eh? Oh well, live and learn. <laughs> make her stronger, make her bigger, make her better. But anyways, uh, I gotta go dig and uh, hopefully I didn't break anything I didn't notice I broke last night and we should be all good. But anyways, uh, we'll be talking to you I guess uh, again in a little bit here. Well, we're all dug ready to rock. I figured I'd give you a little shed update. Got some stuff to burn up here, little scrappy bits. Might hang on to them, you never know where you're gonna need a little hunk. So uh, we got her all enclosed. He came yesterday, did a bunch of work for me. Looking pretty good. And uh, we got doors on. It was a bit of a bit of a finagle to get them all fitting together and stuff, but they're working pretty good. We had to um, add a couple extra deweys there for the hinges to, to mouse into, but this one was being a bit of a brute, but it's not bad now. So whenever this trailer moves, that'll open up all the way. And uh, we should be able to get a four-wheeler through that, I'm thinking, because these will open right, well, if I didn't have my level there, <laughs> they'd open up right open, right? So we're going to probably need some kind of, I don't know, like latch and dewy thing to latch on the door, because, you know, it'll be windy the odd time, and she's going to be blowy. So we're all enclosed, except uh, under there, but I think I might get some of that... Um, fascia stuff go up underneath that eave there and then we'll just block her in with that keep the, the wildies out of the way out of here so but she's looking good we uh, put a couple of windows plexiglass windows in her just to let a bit of light in um, let's have a look see here you know, there's a bit of light coming in through you know up top there and stuff and and stuff but you get in here and she's a little bit dark, but you know, actually looks brighter on the camera, but um, yeah, you know, not too bad. So let's let a little bit of light in, which is kind of sort of nice, enough that the camera can't even focus. So, but uh, yeah, yeah, she's uh, going to maybe get her first rainstorm today or tomorrow-ish. Uh, what we're thinking too is uh, have both doors, of course, to open, but one will be like sort of locked. And uh, we're going to drill some one inch holes or whatever down, probably put another two by four in there too. Drill her down in and then drill down into the six by six and then drop a big, uh, pardon my French, that was coffee burp, uh, pin down. And, uh, you know, she'll be good to go. It'll keep the honest people out anyway, so. Yeah. So, um, next step I guess is going to be the, the roofing. We gotta get some uh, tire paper stuff, and uh, wow, that's quite a gappy thing there. What happened there, I wonder? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I like that too much. That was a solid piece there, so, you know, it's on straight and everything, but something's a little wonky on the end, maybe, I don't know. Probably because my wall's a bit too high where she mounts on right under there, so it made that piece sit up higher, which, you know, messes her up. We'll figure that out, but anyways, yeah, she's gonna need some some roofing materials, and uh, 
what actually I was thinking of doing was I want to do those corner things like I was mentioning like whatever width paint them white and then the rest of it I wouldn't mind getting some of that one by uh, one by two strappings and putting them down like it looks like board and batten every 16 inches or something so it would look kind of like that you know I think that'll look kind of neat give it a sort of a false kind of look of it but uh, yeah Anyways, uh, yeah, a little shit update for you. She's uh, probably good to store stuff in now, but I gotta, like I said, put the roof on her and stuff, so. And uh, then I guess we'll maybe get some of that strapping, and uh, they come usually a bundle of like 10 or 15 or whatever, 20, I don't know, we'll get a couple of good bundles of them and nail those on to make it look kinda, you know, strappinged. And then uh, we'll grab uh, some paint. She's gonna take quite a bit of paint because I imagine it's gonna suck her in like crazy. And uh, we'll go from there. And then we'll be looking pretty good. We can start putting stuff in her. Alrighty, so we got our trailer on the uh, front of the tractor here today doing our lowering device thing. Works pretty good. We uh, just drives just like that other little trailer. She's a real snappy thing to turn. And if you get yourself all messed up, you can get her corrected real fast. So, But anyways, uh, yesterday when I was uh, getting set up for digging today, um, I noticed that my one pin on the back here was bent quite a bit. My uh, locking pin, that's what that is for, for locking down the deweys, right there, right? And uh, so I didn't have a hammer really with me, but I had uh, one of my old cornerstones here I keep with me, and so I thought, oh, okay, that'll probably straighten that out. It was actually like this, but it was bent up a little bit, so I guess she got hit on something, I don't know. And uh, she broke, she broke off. <laughs> I <laughs> straightened her. So, we got a little bit of a welding repair job to do on this. And it uh, looks like this was maybe done in, uh, yeah, the days of, jeez, uh, uh, not on by much either. Holy. The days of arc welding before the lovely plasma come into effect. So, what we're going to do is um, probably take this into the sandblaster clean her all up nice there and uh, get the grinder out here and then blah, this all smooth flat again and then we'll get her kind of lined up and spot her back on and uh, we'll be good to go all right now we need to bring our welding machine up to the front we're gonna need her well that will stay there if I can get her out of here Nice to get a little bit of room back. <laughs> and uh, we got her all cleaned up. Got her ground off the trailer. We'll take her up to the front here and we'll zap her back together. Well, let's throw her back down here, make sure she's working the way she's supposed to. Arrgh. Holy cow! Sweet. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Oh yeah. I think she'll hold pretty good there. Flops back down where she should be. It's pretty simple, but it does work, you know. It's a little kind of wonky there, maybe it should be tapped up a bit but I uh, guess I could do that I probably got a hammer here somewhere or not it's probably in the back but oh she'll work 
I dug that whole uh, uh, whole grave this morning there without it, so without that side even on, so it worked. But uh, yeah. But uh, anyways, we're still waiting for them to come in, do their thing, and then we'll fin finish it up. And I uh, should probably pull out my 24-inch bucket here so I can hook it on later with the claw thumb attachment and uh, maybe go tear apart that bridge. Uh, she's going to have to come out, I guess. So, but Anyways, we'll, go, so we'll throw this back in the back room for now. Alrighty, boys and girls, it is now time for bridge deconstruction for reconstruction. And uh, I'd like to kind of not... Oh, look, a little turtle just went down there. See him? him swimming down there? Little feller. That's a little baby snapping turtle. Where'd he go? There he is. Trying to get him stopped. Oh man. If they're hatching, I better not be squishing them, I guess. I don't know why they'd be up here, but anyways. Uh, yeah, I'd kind of like to see where this thing broke. Sort of interesting to me. But uh, we're going to end up breaking a lot more, so <laughs> we may not get to see too much. But anyways, uh, we got Mr. Tractor parked over there. And uh, I'll put you guys maybe down over here or something. I'm going to try to bust her up as best I can and then put it over to there for now or something I don't know what but uh, we'll figure it out but anyways there's a mess I left when I came out holy that was a nightmare too but anyways uh, see where we're gonna plunk you guys right about here maybe alrighty let's get at her
Wow, there is, I think, the one that broke. Him there, because there's the big long one. I tried to break it, but she was holding up. Look at the nice galvanized nails are still uh, galvanizing, not rusted or nothing. And I think that's the other end of that one here. So there's the other side of the culprit. Oh, look at that, it's got a, a little stick growing through it. It's funny, it does not feel rotten at all though. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's it for today, boys. I do apologize, couldn't do more for you, but holy friggin' crap, the friggin' crap's hitting the fan. Oh, man, I got a friggin' call for a funeral, another one, and I just showed another set of plots for another one for probably Saturday coming up again. <laughs> so it's like, holy crap. Don't know what it is. Everybody's picking a time right now, and they're all croaking. Don't know why. Man, oh, man. Be nice to have, like, five minutes of free time, but the way she works. But anyways, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be rainy, 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 rainy. 10 to, or 5 to 10 millimeter rain. And uh, they were saying 80% uh, right now, so it's not looking good for doing anything outside. So, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, wish I had a roof on the shed. <laughs> don't though. So we could maybe go get the supplies for that tomorrow. Uh, the shingles and maybe another roll of roll of stuff, um, roll of uh, you know the what you call it, tar or paper stuff. I think that's what it's called. And I need one of those hammer tackers. If you've ever seen one of them, it's basically like a looks like a hammer. Wham! Well, but it's a long thingy. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything to show you here, but it's a long thingy. And basically, it's like a staple gun. So you, ba dang, and you just smack the thing, and it fires a staple in for you. So I'm going to get one of those for hammering down the um, tire paper. So you start to roll that and then bang, 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 bang all that in instead of, you know, the <coughs> ones because those just really suck. So these ones I've used a few times, they're pretty sweet. Just smasher and driver. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. So I know the depot sells them. They're not super expensive, but they're not super cheap. So I kind of want something sort of half decent, kind of, you know. Um, because I'll probably keep it for quite a while, I imagine, and probably have to use her again for another project eventually. So, that and I'm going to get about, um, I did a thingy online there to roughly how many square feet I got, and it said so roughly about seven bundles of shingles should do it, but you're going to need a bit, uh, like I'm not doing a ridge cap or any of that stuff, so I'm going to need probably a little bit for like the starter strip and stuff and, you know, all that stuff, so we'll get, um, maybe eight packs call her safe there and um, kind of hoping that they're going to keep whatever kind I get for a wee bit that style because I want to do another shed from the wife there like I was mentioning the other day and I kind of would like them to sort of match you know would be nice but anyways uh, if not then whatever but uh, we'll uh, maybe do that tomorrow she's raining out go get some supplies leave her in the truck till we're ready to use her it's about the best thing I can think and uh, because it would be nice to uh, get the ATVs moved around and get some stuff moved around in the garage so I can get some other stuff moved around in the garage so I can get some other projects going in the garage. It's kind of all holding up on everything else, right? But, uh, yeah, for today, though, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the bridge rip apart there. That was pretty fun. It just shredded through that like it was just freaking tinfoil or tissue paper or something, you know. Love that tractor. Oh, man. But anyways, have a good night. And, uh, well, actually, I talked to uh, uh, Iron Man there, and he's going to see if he can get me some I-beams. So instead of using maybe um, tree thingies like I used before, we're going to stretch some 20-foot I-beams across each side and uh, build something on there from that. We'll see what happens. I don't know. If you can get them kind of fairly straightish, that'd be all right. I don't know if they come in fairly straightish like that, though. They probably all come up in a big twisted heat, but who knows. So other than that, I think that's it. And um, I'll let you know what uh, Fireman comes up with some stuff for me. And uh, if not, uh, then we'll have to use some trees again. Get some bigger ones, I guess. Some bigger, beefier ones that are a bit thicker, you know. Because that one was a bit thin, I guess. That's probably why she broke. So, But anyways, that's it for today. I'm freaking frazzled from all the phones ringing today. And the funeral's going on. And, man, everybody's croaking. And holy cow. But anyways, it's all part of her. So you guys have a good night. Uh, some big, big, bigger news coming up soon for all the Farm Sim Saturday fans. Um, 
you'll uh, hear about that when I hear about it. I know about it already, but I haven't finalized things yet, we'll say. So we'll uh, get, her, get her going and um, we'll have a bit of fun there. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk at you hopefully tomorrow.